you see there is a little cabin over there and there will be horrendous nests on there on that beach there will be a warden on there keeping everybody to where they should be so at the moment you can see there are people moving about on the back of the beach which shouldn't happen uh, once nesting really starts on that beach in earnest now a lot of these beaches when you go around you will see uh, cages like a little tiny pyramid structure with the top cut off and uh, we don't cage all these nests, we can't. Uh, we try and leave them as natural as possible. But when there's a nest laid which is in a situation where it might get accidentally damaged, then we put a little cage over it just to protect it. And uh, you're asked to stay away from those cages with a fair bit of space. But as you can see, there's a group up there uh, a long way on the back of the beach, and they shouldn't really be there. But at the moment, we're not too concerned because they're uh, hopefully at the moment there shouldn't be any term mess there, I don't think. I'll check with our volunteers at Arkel on that. Going down a little bit further. They cost there. Yep. Well, I'm going to go towards the left hand side of the boat. She's swimming across the front of our bow. We're trying to pull back a little bit so she doesn't get too close to us. Just don't walk off the edge. Okay, she's going away quite quickly now. And she's using up quite a bit of oxygen, so she will come back. Get ready, get ready, she comes. There. Now, I've been doing this twice a week for eight years, and I still get an incredible thrill every time I see that happen. I really do. to us and she's actually approaching her. We were stationary then and she's approached us a little bit. So she's not really phased by our presence. So we want to stay away from her as much as we can. But if she puts her head out now that will be a lovely shot.